Hello everyone and welcome to the fourth video in the series about all of the regional conferences that I'm going to as the International Second Vice President of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. This weekend, I was able to spend time at the 68th Virtual Mid-Atlantic Regional Conference. And if you've been watching my videos for a long time, you probably know what I'm about to say, but this regional conference was very, very special to me. And it was very special because I used to live in the Mid-Atlantic region not once, but twice. My family used to live in Charlotte, North Carolina and in Richmond, Virginia. So it felt like going back home, pretty much. So now I'm going to take some time to just talk about what it is that happened during this weekend. Before the regional conference started, the regional director, Jennifer King Congleton, she sent me this nice cup. And here it is, you can see that it has the logo that they created for the 68th Mid-Atlantic Regional Conference. And it's got a um, lid to it so I can sip like this and um, be guarded from the hotness if I'm drinking a hot drink. But it's so pretty. This is probably one of the best designed logos that I have seen for the regional conferences so far. It's just such a pretty logo. And the marbling on the cup, it's gorgeous. You can see the little pink and green in it and it's shimmery. So I'm going to love drinking from this. And uh, thank you so much, Madam Regional Director Jennifer King Congleton. I love this gift. I also already called her so she knows that already, but I just felt like saying it again. And leading up to the Mid-Atlantic Regional Conference, I need to give a shout out to my virtual assistant. My virtual assistant, Sister Jada, she was amazing. All of the board of directors members, we were on a call earlier in the week and we were talking about the upcoming conference. All of us had to take some time to just say, my virtual assistant, she's amazing. She's checked up on me twice. She's asked me if I need anything. She's given me my VSG guide, showed me the links that I want to use to access different pieces for the regional conference. She is amazing. So I just had to shout out my personal virtual assistant, Sister Jada. You did a fantastic job. She was there for every question that I had. And she also told me that I did a really good job during my UAC report for the Undergraduate Activities Committee. So thank you very much. And now I'm going to actually get in to what happened during the Mid-Atlantic Regional Conference. Starting on Thursday, we had a couple of forums for finances and constitution and bylaws, very important things. I went and I showed my support. Then we also had our public meeting. And the public meeting is just such a great time because you get to see and hear from different community leaders within the city of where we would have been having the Mid-Atlantic Regional Conference. It's just so welcoming being at the public meeting. So Thursday, we have the public meeting, then Friday is plenary one, plenary two, and the night was capped off with the Friday activity. And that's all they said, just Friday night activity. So you had no idea what you were coming into, but it was fantastic. And you get there, we started off with some Zoom rooms. We had one for bingo, another one for a virtual cooking class. I don't know what it is they were making, but I'm sure it must've been fantastic. And then the last room was a Kahoot trivia type, um, type of room. So we had something for the undergraduates and the graduates, everyone was happy. And then we brought everyone in to the main room after an hour and the real meat of the Friday night activity started. And if you don't know, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated released a documentary called 20 Pearls. And it is a documentary that covers information about the founders, our history, and the impact that Alpha Kappa Alpha has been able to have over 113 years. That documentary has been years in the making and we released it on friday night on comcast so if you want to you can go and watch it you definitely should but for the mid-atlantic regional conference the friday night activity was watching that documentary as a region and 
it's just amazing. You should definitely go and watch because I've seen it twice. I got to go to a pre preview as a very special guest of the sorority and you learn something every single time. Speaking of being a very special guest, over my right shoulder, I have a gift from the Ivy Box that they curated specifically for the 20 Pearls documentary. And I'm going to open it up here. I have already know what's inside of it, but I wanted to show you the little special things that they were able to send to us. This is what it looks like when you open it. Over the top, it says, honoring service to all mankind since 1908 and it's just so nice this is a fantastic box it comes with a beautiful poster of the documentary 20 pearls you see some of our founders up there Whew, and it was a it was a great documentary it is written and directed by deborah riley draper we have narration by felicia rashad who is a member of alpha kappa alpha sorority incorporated and it's just a fantastic documentary if you haven't seen it you definitely should go see it but here is the poster again they also sent us some macaroons which i'm definitely going to enjoy eating and i've only had macaroons probably twice in my life before once was at some kind of baby shower type thing and then another one was in Italy. So um, the ones in Italy were fantastic. But I'm also going to enjoy these ones because they are for the sorority. And then we got this pink and green Garrett's popcorn that I'm also going to enjoy eating. I mean, who doesn't like Garrett's popcorn? They also gave us this multi-strand pearl necklace. So I'm going to enjoy wearing this out and some decorated sugar cookies. So I'm going to bring these up because they are just so adorable, so well decorated. This one. And this one has an adorable little um, camera on it. So, um, this one, I'm wondering if I should eat it or if I should just keep it as as is that way I can always look back on it but these are beautiful gorgeous and another thing that comes in the box is an ivy leaf champagne stopper and an alpha kappa alpha sparkling rosé so um here's the champagne stopper and the rosé look it's so cute and it has a nice color and it is non-alcoholic rosé so i can drink this i am 21 but i just decide not to drink so that's why i'm saying oh i can drink this but um and the the label there we go it's got some aka ivies pink and green i'm going to enjoy this and they definitely want to hammer home that this is for a documentary, a documentary that Alpha Kappa Alpha produced. And we are the first to do that out of all the Divine Nine. It's a little clapboard. It is functional. Ooh, there we go. Ah, there we go. And it says, scene one, take 15 roll 1908 that is so cute it's the little details details like that oh production 20 pearls year 2021 this is just so nice so that is a wrap on everything that was in the 20 pearls ivy box and that is just a great way to start off your regional conference so regional director jennifer king congleton you you gave your region something that they will never forget. That is something that they will never forget. Saturday, we have the UAC workshop, which it always happens on Saturday. This is the fourth time doing it. And I just need to take some time to thank our technology assistance person. She was on it. She knew what she was doing. She had the breakout rooms ready. 
you did not have to wait for more than a second for her to get everything ready. And I just need to thank you, Sister Simone, for being prepared, doing your job, for absolutely killing it. Because when you have someone that knows how to do and work the technology, everything flows smoothly. She made sure that everything flowed smoothly during our workshop. And she was just so nice, so sweet, so accommodating. And now going on to the undergraduates of the Mid-Atlantic region, I really enjoyed being able to talk with you all. You were engaged, you really took a part in all of those interactive pieces. So thank you very much. And if you are from the Mid-Atlantic region, if I did just speak to you over this weekend, go ahead and say something in the comments because I will, I will remember you. I did take that picture with you at the end. And even though it was a virtual picture, it's a Zoom picture of all of our, um, of all of our cameras together, I am looking forward to the day when I get to meet you in person. So the UAC workshop was fantastic. And then after that, we had the undergraduate celebration. And I was the keynote speaker again, yay. I love being the speaker for the undergraduate celebrations. And Amira Watson, she was the chairman of this event. She did a fantastic job. It was just, it was a great way to bring undergraduates together, but also inform them. For my keynote, I was asked to talk about resilience, programming, and how you have a good program. And the rest of the undergraduate celebration was highlighting undergraduate chapters of the Mid-Atlantic region that have had fantastic programs geared at the different targets. So we've got five different targets and they had five different sections, five different chapters come on and talk about what it is that their chapter did. So for a women's healthcare and wellness, they have um, an exercise session. For building your economic legacy, they had someone come in to talk with them about um, managing budgets. And it was just fantastic. And then they ended with a DIY, this is how you create an engaging poster using Canva. So it was an undergraduate celebration that recognized undergraduates for the work that they're doing, that uplifted them. And it also was able to teach them a couple of things along the way on how to make sure that they are still engaging their community and bringing them quality content. Then after that, Later, we had the awards gala. Again, regional director Jennifer King Congleton, she did a great job handing out all of those awards and then they presented her with some gifts at the end and she was just so full with love from her region. And today, Sunday, we had the ecumenical service and that was the end of the Mid-Atlantic Regional Conference, the 68th virtual Mid-Atlantic Regional Conference. So. We are taking an off week this week from the regional conference videos. That's because there is no regional conference this upcoming week due to the fact that it is Easter. So everyone, please enjoy your Easter and I will see you in two-ish weeks after the next regional conference weekend, which next time I see you, I will be talking about two regional conferences. But until then, have a good day. Bye everyone.